Hello everyone, this is Matthew from Typeito. So uh, we recently launched a new set of templates on Typeito that is timer templates. These are essentially uh, customizable, easy to add on your video, uh, count up and count down timers. And uh, the reason why we designed these templates is that we saw that uh, a few type of videos which are being created on Typeito, that is wellness, fitness, yoga, and dance videos, uh, they do much, much better uh, when they have these templates, these timers, and uh, they add uh, another layer of interaction, interactivity with their customers or the audience who watch the videos. And uh, the more more I think about it, I think timer templates can be added on any video which has an instructional nature to it, and uh, in which you want to highlight a specific routine, and you want to tell that, hey, this is starting now, and it's going to end 10 seconds later. Or if you want to use a countdown, for example, so as you can see in this preview, these are a few examples of how a timer template can be used on your video. So let me take this video to quickly take you through uh, how you can add a timer template on your video really fast and easy using Type U2. So the first thing to do is you can check out our templates store or templates collection at typeu2.com slash templates. So as you scroll through you will find these different collections or categories in which the templates are sorted and here you can find timer as an option and uh, to keep you uh, informed you can also check out fitness and wellness templates you can find other templates other than timer templates which can be used in the context of fitness and wellness over here but uh, in this video let's just focus on timer templates right so in timer you can see that there are count up timers which actually counts up and you have countdown timers, which are basically timers which are counting down. And both are useful in different, different contexts. So in this demo video, what I'll do is I'll take one of the count up timer and show how, how I can add it on the video really fast and easy. Uh, so I'll use this power boost timer. So I click on this, I go to the, uh, the timer template detail page or view. So if you want, you can always go ahead and kind of check out how this timer looks like. You know, you can play around with it here itself before adding it. So one way to do it is you can also, you know, modify the attributes here, the color, the font. Uh, if you want to make it a, you know, uh, a count up timer right now, it's actually a, it's a count up, count up timer. If you want to make it a countdown timer, you can use this option. I'll be talking more about all these later. So for now, my motivation is to add this on my video so I'm already logged in to Typeito. So I'm going to click on save. And it says it's saved. So to save time, I've already opened the project where I want to add this timer. So the timer which I saved is showing up on the left side under saved section, uh, just like all the other templates which are saved from your Typeito templates collection. So now uh, I already have a video here. It's a yoga video. Uh, where a yoga instructor is, you know, displaying or demoing a compass pose or a Parivrita Surya Yantrasana. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this to add this onto the video. So why would we be adding a timer template here? The goal would be to kind of give the audience an idea of how long you should be holding this pose, for example. So just like all the other te templates on Typeito, you can drag and drop to kind of make sure that it uh, you know, it's, it's, it can fit the way you want on the video. So I, I want it to be kept here. And I also want to use uh, certain colors which are used in this uh, video design already. There is the white and then there is this brown color which is used. So I'll go ahead and select the brown. And uh, I, I, I don't like this text highlight which is there. So I can just remove it by clicking on the text. So it kind of, it's removed. And uh, you can also play around with the colors if you want. Now, uh, let me show you quickly the the countdown and count up timer. So right now it's a count up timer. So if I just go back and then play, it's gonna count up from one to six. Awesome. So I can also make it a countdown timer if required. So by just I just clicked on it, the toggle button. So it becomes a countdown timer. 
yeah so that's as simple as that and uh, the most important part right how do you change the time so there are two ways to change the time or the duration of a countdown or count up timer template on type 2 uh, one way is to go ahead and click on this duration here and change it so uh, it basically kind of accepts any value which is valid right so in this case uh, we have a approximately 14 second video so if i give a number let's say 20 it's gonna say it's not gonna work uh, but if i want it to be let's say a four second it's gonna work and as you can see the overlay representation here also kind of is uh, sh reflects the change that you make in the duration here so if i make it eight here that also shows you that the the template is stand starting from the, the timestamp here till you know where it is eight seconds and uh, yeah another way to change the duration would be to the would be to use the standard uh, way of changing duration for any overlay for that matter if you want to change it here you can do that as well as you can see the time kind of reduces here the representation reduces there on the screen based on how you're doing it here so this is another way these are depends on how you would want to do it and what your use cases both are very uh, you know very viable ways of changing your time and uh, in this video i want to keep it 13 seconds and uh, i just want to see how it looks and i want to keep it uh, so right now it's a count down timer i want to keep it a count up timer so it starts from one second one and then goes till 13 and it also plays really well with this uh, this lower third which i've added you know which is basically uh, like a good indicator or a, a good instruction on what exactly this yoga pose is uh, so yeah so let me just play this once Awesome. So adding the timer is as simple as that. Uh, now, once you are sorted, once you like the video, once you are comfortable with the with the format of the video as well. For example, in this case, it's square, which we have used. If you want something like a vertical, that's also possible. You can go ahead and just realign it the way you want, uh, as an as and how you require it. And uh, for our case, we'll probably go with something which is square, and uh, because square videos are used. A lot in social media and uh, you know it, there's a lot of value in creating these kind of quick training videos to uh, attract your audience and the uh, timer template could help you there to make your videos look much more professional and uh, interactive on social media so once you're done with that you can just click on export here and the export starts so that's about it this is a, a quick demo of how you can use timer template so I hope you uh, liked it. I hope you were able to understand uh, how intuitive it is. Yeah. Thank you.